Alright folks and welcome back to another video. So I'm back on YouTube now and I felt like I wanted to bring you a little video on the Steam Summer Sales. Now we're about halfway through the sales at the moment starting in around the 22nd of June and ending on the 5th of July and I wanted to just pinpoint some of the best deals that I think are on the Steam Summer Sales and also going to try and uh, put you towards some of my favourite games. Alongside this I also want to create a comparison with CD key sites and I wanted to compare the Steam sale prices with these sites in order to see if you could save yourself a bit of money or what actually is the best option for the games. Okay so kicking off this list I'm going to be looking at Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now this game has actually not been brought down in price with the Steam Summer Sale however you can see on different websites that it actually is cheaper uh, it is the biggest selling game on steam at the moment so i think it's worth mentioning so steam selling it here for 26.99 uk pounds 27 pound if we go and look at the alternative of uh, cd keys um, we can see that it's being sold for 23 pounds so we're saving about four pounds there looking at g2a you're getting the better deal on CD keys so CD keys comes out on top so second up on this list is the Witcher 3 I uh, recently got a hold of the Witcher 3 there about uh, two weeks ago on the midweek madness sale it's 1750 so it's not that big of a difference uh, from the midweek madness that happened two weeks ago I would have thought that the Steam summer sale would have brought the price down a little bit more but uh, what can you expect? The Witcher 3, very long game, lots of hours of content you can pump in. It's still a great price for the game. So let's compare with some of the other sites like CD Keys. So it's uh, roughly about £2.50 extra, so you're getting a better deal on Steam there. And the GOG version of the Game of the Year edition of Witcher 3 is 22 05 So for Witcher 3, Steam is a go-go. Coming in third on the list is Grand Theft Auto 5. GTA 5 Steam at the moment are selling it for in the round £20. That is the best price I've ever seen GTA 5 at. I bought GTA 5 on PC at launch and it was very expensive. Um, I had it previously on the Xbox 360 and felt kind of bad pumping out so much money for it but it is it's a very uh, well optimised game and it does play well on the PC. Let's take a look at some of the key sites then. So let's go CD keys. £24 still not as good as Steam so Steam's doing well in this regard. Let's take a look at G2A and the Steam key here is £39 so you're actually losing a lot of money if you're buying off here in relation to Steam. So next up on my list is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now the price CSGO here is okay, you're only getting about a 33% reduction in price and it's sitting in around uh, £8.3 on Steam. So looking at the likes of G2A, we can get the game for £8 so that's only saving uh, potentially uh, 3p so that's not that much of a saving so cd keys here uh, a bit more of a reputable site than g2a sitting eight pounds as well you're only saving three pence next up on the list i wanted to look at uh civilization six so steam here have a 40 percent reduction from 50 pounds down to 30 pounds on steam and the digital deluxe edition coming in at around 42 pounds as opposed to 70 pounds so let's take a look at some of our sites we have a european key here the european key does work for the uk now anybody who's watching the uk don't be you know uh put away from a european key because it does say here this product can be activated in the following regions including the uk so 23 pounds on cd keys for the base game as opposed to £30 on Steam, you're saving £7. That £7 might uh, contribute you know, to getting a uh, another game in the Steam sales or money that you can put in your Steam wallet for a later date. Looking at G2A for Civilization 6, we're sitting at £22. So, well, £21.95, so it's still cheaper than Steam. It's 
actually cheaper than CD keys by only a couple of pence. So uh, again, uh, down to you and the viewer where you want to buy your games from, but it's still worth noting that you're saving money there as well. Now, the next one for me isn't one that I'm particularly a fan of, but Fallout 4 at £10. Very, very good deal. Fallout 4, a uh, very popular game, uh, very credible RPG, uh, the latest edition in the uh, Fallout series. They've brought it down from £20 to uh, 9 uh, tenner, so uh, half, half price. So, Fallout 4 here on the PC, uh, on CD keys, it's looking at around £13, £3 more expensive than Steam. So, G2A, you're only spending a few more pence uh, than Steam, so I definitely, for me, if I was buying that, I would go straight to Steam for that. Next up is uh, Near Automata. They've got it down here at £27.99, £28 as opposed to 40 down 30% heard a lot of good stuff about this game I'm really interested in playing it myself if you're looking to get trying out this game it might be worth waiting a little while longer for the price to go down a little bit more but if you're happy with uh, playing RPGs and you're interested in this game you know it's definitely worth picking it up at this price if 30% off it is still a good reduction in the game's price so looking at CD keys for near okay 33 pounds as opposed to uh, 28 so it's five pounds more expensive if you buy it on the CD keys so that would be a no-go there now near on G2A is a lot more expensive so I would iron that out entirely next up is Sniper Elite 4 now I've only ever played one of these games in the past so I'm not too familiar with them they seem to be very popular at the moment now you're sitting with a 50% reduction in price from 40, 40 pounds down to 20 very very good reduction uh, even the reduction in the deluxe edition there from 65 pounds down to uh, 32.50 is good as well sniper elite 4 and g2a is a lot more expensive so for uh, this particular game uh, steam wins again now the next uh, game i'm looking to touch on is dishonored 2 uh, first game was very very popular so the reduction in Dishonored 2 we're sitting with a 50% off going down from £30 to £15 so Dishonored 2 uh, sitting there at £17.51 cheapest it's still uh, £2.50 more expensive than Steam CD keys £20 as opposed to £15 on Steam so you're saving a fiver if you buy it on Steam which is good next up uh, I want to talk about is Shadow of Mordor for a lot of the people that maybe haven't played Shadow of Mordor that are maybe looking to get into it or play it before Shadow of War comes out in uh, I think August time uh, Steam have a really good deal going on with Shadow of Mordor it's brought down 80% from £16 down to £3.19 now that is an absolutely brilliant deal I played through the Shadow of Mordor it was like the uh, second or third game I played when I first built my computer it actually featured in my very first YouTube video great little game maybe not worth playing if you've played Assassin's Creed or the Batman games recently uh, very similar uh, to the two of them it's like almost like a hybrid or a mix between them two games but definitely a game worth playing Shadow of Mordor on CD keys so game of the year edition is sitting at four pounds we're saving in the round uh, ADP uh, buying it on Steam G2A two pounds 82 as opposed to um, three pound 19 so we're saving in the round uh, 40p if we buy it off uh, G2A so some of the other games I wanted to mention that are featured on the Steam sales are Bethesda's Doom. So Steam at the moment are selling Doom for $9.99. Taking a look at G2A Doom here, $9.77. CD Keys Doom, $9.99, exactly the same price as Steam, so no saving there at all. So another game I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is Mad Max. Now I've been told that Mad Max performs very well on the PC. A friend of mine, Joker Productions, he did a performance review of it uh, a long time ago when the game first launched. It seems to be very similar to the Batman 
Arkham games and Assassin's Creed again very like Shadow of Mordor. Steam has a 60% reduction on Mad Max and it's sitting at £6.39 as opposed to £16 where we're saving around £2.40 if we buy it in CD keys, the base game. Uh, that's money again that can be saved uh, for games on the Steam sales, you know, for the few more days we have left the sales. If we take a look at G2A, we can actually see that the base game with some of the DLC at £4.69 is actually a lot cheaper than what Steam is charging for the base game, which is £6.39. So we're actually saving £172 and around that sort of figure. And if you just wanted to buy the base game by itself, you're saving like uh, £3. Like that alone could be, you know, a game or two on the Steam sales. So that's definitely worth looking at. So one of the other game franchises that I wanted to bring to your attention that is uh, on sale at the moment is the Devil May Cry series. Now if we're looking specifically at some of the Devil May Cry games, so Devil May Cry the reboot is sitting on uh, Steam at £5.99 £6 as opposed to £24. So if we look at Devil May Cry here on G2A we can see that the Steam Global Key is actually cheaper at uh, £4.49 and we're saving around 150 there so that's 1.50 more that you could be saving for other games if we take a look at the actual devil may cry uh, original games um on cd keys we can see that there's uh, quite a lot of selection here so we have the devil may cry 4 special edition uh virgil's downfall dlc for the reboot game and the special edition of devil may cry 3 now if we look at steam here if we take a look at devil may cry 4 special edition first it's setting 50 percent off uh, a tenner as opposed to 20 pounds um if we look at that on g2a um we can see that that's setting uh, at about roughly around two pounds cheaper at eight pounds fourteen so you're saving a bit of money there and also if you were looking into the special edition of devil may cry 3 it's sitting at four pounds here on steam 75 percent reduction as opposed to the 16 pound that they were charging previously uh if we look at that down to G2A we can see that actually you're getting the better deal on Steam here as opposed to G2A for this particular game so that's definitely worth looking into so another big shout out I wanted to mention in the video is the uh, Baldur's Gate now it's a very old RPG from a few years ago and they have a very good reduction on the uh, original the enhanced edition so it's sitting at a uh, 66% uh, discount, uh, £5.9 as opposed to £15. So if we look at G2A, we can see that the Enhanced Edition is cheaper here, uh, £4.21 as opposed to the uh, £5.9. We're saving about uh, 80 pence here, it's not very much. Just worth noting the second uh, Enhanced Edition that's £5.9 as well. Uh, if we take a look at that on uh, G2A, um, we can actually see that you're actually saving a few pence if you buy it on Steam there. So all in all, if you were going to pick up Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, definitely probably buying them on Steam would be the better option there. So just a few more mentions before I wrap up the video. Uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator X uh, sitting at 60% discount of £9.19 as opposed to £23. We're actually getting it uh, cheaper if we buy it on uh, G2A and if we buy it on CD keys here so we're saving in around a uh, pound or two uh, buying it there. Another popular game worth mentioning is City Skylines. So Steam at the moment are 75% uh, off on all the different uh, packs of the game. Base game is £6 as opposed to 24 and uh, £8.74 for the deluxe edition as opposed to 35 so 75% discount there. If we take a look at CD keys we can see that it's seven pounds so if you were on the same with the base game as well so if you're actually interested in buying the deluxe edition you're actually saving nearly two pounds buying it on cd keys as opposed to steam if you buy it on uh, g2a you're actually getting it cheaper for the base game and the deluxe edition as well 
so one of the last games I'm going to mention is Mass Effect so Steam only sell Mass Effect 1 and 2 there is uh, Andromeda and there is also the third game in the series but uh, Mass Effect 2 they're boasting 75% reduction £5 as opposed to £20 if you buy the digital deluxe you're paying the exact same money you're getting more content at £5 if you want to buy the collection 1 and 2 on Steam you're paying 574 so you're paying in around an extra 75p for the first game but if you look at the likes of uh, G2A you can get the Mass Effect trilogy of all three games on Origin for £6.6 .6, which isn't uh, that much different but here's the uh, interesting thing if we type it in the CD keys here um, uh, you can actually see that if we go to buy the Mass Effect trilogy it's actually sitting now at the moment at five pounds as opposed to 40 pounds so you're getting all three games and all that content for uh, the same price as Steam is only selling the second game so uh, definitely if you haven't played Mass Effect or you're looking to pick it up on the computer if you transitioned to the computer from console and you maybe played these games and maybe want to play another playthrough or you're interested in Andromeda and you want to play the uh, original games then definitely go for the CD keys option in that regard uh, last up on this video I just wanted to say is that the uh, Valve pack for anybody who you know is coming new to PC or someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of Valve games that's maybe considered uh, buying them or getting them in the future the entire Valve pack used to be £80 at the moment they're selling that at uh, £13.20 now it's not the best um, price I've seen of that when I bought that entire Valve pack I got it for £8 on G2A but uh, the £13.20 on Steam here is better than any CD key site that I've seen so if we take a look at uh, CD keys we can see that they're charging £22 so they're charging in around like £8 more if we go take a look at uh, G2A for the global key, £18, it's still, you know, in around uh, £5 more. So for someone who's maybe looking to play some of the Half-Life games, this is an absolute bargain. Basically 80% off, 90% off for every game in the pack. Absolutely fantastic games. So guys, that is going to wrap up uh, the latest video. If you liked some of the stuff in here, uh, give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed the content please subscribe to the channel it helps me out an awful lot uh, all the links for some of the games and some of the honourable mentions that I maybe haven't actually got to uh, talk about in this video here I'll put in the description below and you can follow it to the relevant key sites but until next time my friends goodbye